Hello and welcome to my evening routine with three of the best ponies and a lot of other animals. So the first thing I do when I get to the barn is put some alfalfa into my hay steamer to start steaming it for their dinner. So I get all that alfalfa in there, pour some water on top, and then cover the hay chest with the lid, make sure it's secure, and then I move on to filling up the hay steamer with water. Steaming hay is really, really good for the horses. It gets rid of dust and particles and bugs that can be found in the hay and makes it a lot better for them to eat. And then now it is time for us to get Dakota out because we're going to ride him today. So I open his stall door and get his halter on. He is very new. I've only had him for about two weeks, I would say. So I'm really getting to know him and and figure him out a little bit and I've been really enjoying riding him. So I get him out and take him to the horse trailer. He tries to sneak a bite of grass but I catch him. Once he's tied up I open up the trailer to grab some fly spray and I only spray his legs. I don't want to spray where the saddle is going to go and then we start brushing him because I like to get them nice and clean where the tack is going to go before I saddle up. So I brush on his back and under his stomach where the cinches go. He really was not that dirty. I throw my brush back into my trailer and get my saddle pad. This saddle pad is a little bit big for him, but I do think he needs this build up. So I'm using it right now. And then I throw on my saddle, get it all situated and in the right place. And then I move on to doing the cinches. I ride all of my horses in a front cinch and a back cinch so I tighten that front cinch first not super tight I will tighten it right before I get on and then I do the back cinch also not super tight and then I get the breast collar on and I'm riding him in this adorable giraffe breast collar I think it looks so good on him and I get his luscious locks out from under it once the saddle and everything up there is situated I move on to his legs so I get off his nice pink fly boots here and there is a nice look at the saddle and breast collar. Now we're going to pick his feet. I like to pick their feet before I ride to make sure there's not a rock in there or anything else hiding that could be uncomfortable. So I get them really clean before I move on to the boots. He really did have a lot pecked in here so I'm glad I picked them out. And tragically while I was getting the back foot I totally stabbed myself with the hoof pick. So that is mildly embarrassing. <laughs> Just pretend like I didn't do that. Now I'm putting on these super cute designer bell boots. I am only going to ride him in bell boots because we were just doing some exercise and then I put on my Troxel helmet, which he is very, very curious about. I went with the bright blue for our ride today. I think it looks cute. So I make sure I have all the straps adjusted how I need them and then I move on to getting his bridle on. I make sure he is untied. From the trailer, I don't like to leave hanging halters tied to the trailer. And then I put his bit in and get his ears through the bridle. And of course, get that forelock out. I don't want it stuck under the brow band. And so once I have that in the throat latch on, it is time to go down to the arena. And we had some dogs follow us. I tighten my saddle and check all my tuck to make sure it all looks good before hopping on. I'm just really getting him legged up and back into shape. I'm riding him almost every single day, just doing nice walk, trot, and lope exercises. So I start off with a trot to the right. I'm still learning about his headset and how he wants to be asked to do certain things. So I'm just really figuring him out right now. We are in that stage of our partnership and then I go right through to make a figure eight and turn around to trot to the left side. I love long trotting and getting him really stretching out those legs. I think it is great for getting a horse into shape and building a lot of muscle. Here I ask him to stop from the trot and I pet on him for a long time because he was just so easy and a really nice ride. I walk him around for a little bit before we lope both directions and I love this lope off from the walk and I again am still figuring out how he wants to be asked for certain things but he gives me such a nice easy lope and I really do think he is the smoothest horse I have ever ridden which I love about him 
And so I turn him around, pet him because he did good, and then we're going to lope the other way. I like to make sure they are even on both sides. I don't want to go one way and not go the other usually. Sometimes there are cases where I do, but for the most part, I like them to be equal on both sides. Once we were done with our workout, I pet him because, again, he was just so good, and I walk him out. Once I'm done walking him out, I stop and let him stand there. I really want them to stand still, so I pet on him, and then I hop off and loosen that cinch before we head back to the trailer, and I give him a nice hug. One thing about Dakota is he loves attention. When we get back to the trailer, I get my helmet off to reveal my very sweaty hair um anyway so i start getting the tack off i get the breast collar off first and then the back cinch and then the front cinch and as i'm voicing this over i realize i did this in the wrong order get your back cinch first but thankfully i have some very broke horses <laughs> so i get that tack off and put the saddle pad up in the trailer my saddle due to all of these saddles taking over my tack room has been living in my living quarters right now and then i give him some treats which he loves so, so much. Now, when we get back to the barn, the dogs are really enjoying a nice drink, and our timer has gone off for our hay steamer, so I turn it off and pull that lid off to release all the steam. It looks so good, and now we are going to rinse Dakota off. I really am just getting where the sweat was, and now we're going to work on his tail, so I spray it with some Cowboy Magic Detangler and really, really brush it out because we are going to be putting it in a tail bag today, so I don't want any tangles at all, so here I am really working on it I sped it up so it wouldn't be too boring for you so I just really brush it out and once I'm done I split it into three even sections and just do a normal three strand braid all the way to the end of the tail as far as I can go this really really helps their tails grow because you are protecting it inside a tail bag and I'm wanting his tail to definitely grow it will also keep them clean so once I have it braided I am putting it in this super cute barrel bling tail bag it is some pink money of course we love our Benjamins so I just slip that braid in there and he is ready to go there is a really close-up look at it. it is so cute he looks so good in pink and now he gets to go back into his comfort stall so I get him in there and take his halter off and of course shut that stall door because if I don't he will escape and I start getting the nebulizer ready for Chester so I fill up that medicine cup with some silver solution he has been struggling with some allergies lately so I'm really trying to open his throat up so I open his stall door and pull his fly mask off and put his halter on I like to use the nebulizer inside of the cross ties that way if he wants to throw his head around and try to get it off he can't really hit it on anything but if he was tied in his stall he could absolutely destroy the nebulizer against his wall he is not really loving the nebulizer this is probably our fourth time using it so he's not 100% used to it just yet, but I think it is really, really helping him. And while he is nebulizing in the cross ties, we're going to get his stall clean. I clean Dakota's in the morning, but I wait till the evening to clean Chester's because he is out all night. So his stall really isn't that bad in the morning because I think he stays outside pretty much the whole night. So I'm just really working on this stall, getting out all of the wet shavings. I don't like to leave any wet in their stall just to help make sure they do not get thrush or anything in their feet. And just because it is much cleaner and comfier for them. So I'm just gonna let you enjoy my stall cleaning and I will see you in a minute. When I am done, the quality check team checks my work and then I go get the nebulizer off of Chester because he is done with his treatment and then get him back into his stall and he gets to go out all night if he wants to, but it's time to get their feed pans ready and Kite has been living outside, so I go get his feed pan out of the pasture and Chester, of course, came to help me. Today was a lot hotter, so 
Kite has been inside, but he will get to go back outside after dinner to be out all night. I rinse out all of their feed pans to make sure they are clean and then get them into the feed room. Chester gets one scoop of Purina Senior and so does Kite. Kite has been moved to one scoop because he's getting quite fat in his pasture life. And then Dakota is eating some high gain feed. That was what he was on when we bought him. And here they are eating their dinner that they were just so excited about. And I take Kite his in the kind of temporary stall that he's in, but he loves it because it's so huge. And he is typically out 24 seven, but it got hotter today. So I brought him in. Chester's buckets were completely empty, so it was time to fill up everyone's buckets, and I just want to make sure they always have some nice water to drink. Um, ignore what I just did, and the dogs were just so helpful. I fill up Chester's hay bag with that steamed alfalfa. That way, if he wants to come in, he can come in and enjoy this, and he'll always have something on his stomach. It's important because of how horses' stomachs are designed to make sure they are always eating something. And Dakota gets some of that steamed alfalfa too, of course. They just love the steamed alfalfa so much and it's really good for picky eaters. Here he is checking out the hay steamer and I've left the rest of that alfalfa in there for in the morning. And now we are going to sweep because I would like to keep this place nice and tidy. And then a tarantula showed up out of nowhere absolutely not that is terrifying um i really hate spiders but anyway back to my sweeping i want to keep this place really tidy especially where my stalls are because i do not own the barn i really just rent out some stalls for my horses so i want to make sure everything is clean After I made my pile, I could not find the big broom, so I had to very slowly sweep this outside with the little broom inch by inch here, picking up different things as I go, just keeping this hallway clean, and we are done. Chester has decided to stay outside, and now it's time for Kite to go back outside into his pasture where he will go out for the whole night and probably most of the morning as well. And that is my evening routine. I will see you soon. Bye.